and you don't really know what they're talking about you, every once in a while I'll hear a word and I'll be like, I think I know what they're saying there. Most Filipino are like more polite and kind to you if you're a foreigner compared when they are talking to a co-Filipino. So when I go out shopping, I feel like people are going to say, here's the most expensive pillow, or here's the most expensive towels, or here's the most expensive whatever. Or even if I go to a fruit stand or something like that, where the prices aren't posted, they're going to say this is 300 pesos a kilo. But for you, they're going to probably say this is 100 pesos a, a kilo. But like, I'm not saying that if you're a Filipino, like for say for example the security guards downstairs mm -hmm. i'm not saying that they're not calling you mom or sir if you're a filipino but like i've noticed that most of the time if you're just a filipino they don't really say anything they won't address you anything How's it going guys? Today I got Mitch back with me. We are going to be talking about the pros and cons of being a Filipina or a foreigner over here in the Philippines. How's it going Mitch? Yeah, I'm doing fine. Thanks for having me here as well. Always great to have you. So Mitch and I had an experience yesterday. We had to pick up a bunch of supplies from the mall and it got us talking about some of the pros and cons of being a Filipino local here in the Philippines compared to life over here as a foreigner. So what happened yesterday is we went, I had to pick up some supplies. We went to SM Mall over here in Cebu City. And there was probably literally like more than 10 people that were helping me, right? How many people do you think? I think most of the stuff helped you. Like they were like, Sir, this pillow, this pillow is nice. How about this one? How about this one? Exactly. So I got a new condo over here in Cebu City. And so I had all kinds of stuff that I had to get just to fit the place out. And there was a lot of people that worked in the whole department that were over there helping out. I felt like, I got to be honest, a little bit of a rock star with a lot of attention with people. Literally, they were pulling like every pillow, every towel every everything that they had out of the place there to see what i thought of it they're having me lay down on the bed and see what i thought the pillow thought it was almost a little bit embarrassing and then at the end of it uh the guys you know just helped us get everything out to the taxi and we were on our way so tell me about how you felt about that like you felt that was a little bit unusual yeah, I felt that it, I mean, not really unusual, but like if you're a Filipino, the staff in the department store, uh, they don't really like show you everything, assist you like with everything from even a single, you know, even if you need just a little assistance, mm -hmm. they will not give you like more assistance All if right. you're a Filipino. But like yesterday, because... Sir John is a foreigner. Like most of the people in the department store, even if he just said that he just needs like a towel, they'd be assisting him like, Sir, how about this towel? This towel is good. This one is nice. This one mm -hmm. suits you better. You know, the SS is the staff really assisted Sir John all throughout. But if you're a Filipino, I don't think they would do the same thing. So say that you were there with, uh, you know, a Filipino guy. I mean, still they would have been helpful though, right? They would be, but not to that extent. All right. So it felt a little bit like over the top. Yeah. Okay. So talking about the pros of being a foreigner over here, you would say that like the extra attention from service staff is definitely one of them, right? Yeah, definitely one of them. All right. So let me know, what else do you think is a pro if you're a foreigner here compared to if you're a Filipino? Well, aside from getting a better service compared to when you're just a Filipino, I think most Filipino are like more polite and kind to you if you're a foreigner compared when they are talking to a co-Filipino. So I hear that a lot from Filipinos over here and it kind of surprises me because my experience of the Philippines is that everybody's very friendly, respectful, polite. I always say that's why I love being in the Philippines because I feel like 
people are the most kind, respectful, on and on people that I've ever met. But do you feel that way? Yeah, I feel that really. Have you noticed whenever we go inside a restaurant, been like, "Good morning, sir." Table for two, but like if you're just a Filipino, yeah. they don't really, they don't even open the door for you. They don't, they just let you be. And when you go inside, it was just, "Good morning, ma'am," and that's just it. Sometimes they don't even smile at you. But if you're a foreigner, if you're with a foreigner, they'd be like, "Hi, ma'am." Good morning. Right, right. This way. So, really, do you think all Filipinos feel that way, or just you? Um, I don't think all um, all of us feel that way, but I think most of us feel that way. Okay. For for foreigners get a better care compared to us Filipinos. All right. I do feel like we get a lot of attention here, and to be honest, I thought that was just because that's how Filipinos are in general. When I very first moved here, people would call me sir all the time, and I thought that's because I'm the old white dude. But in reality, I feel like everybody calls each other ma'am or sir here, or very respectful language. Do you agree with that? Mm, Come on, kinda. only kinda. Why kinda? Yeah, I I really think, and I've noticed that foreigners get a better treatment compared to Filipinos. Okay. Yeah, but like I'm not saying that. If you're a Filipino, like for say for example, the security guards downstairs, mm-hmm. I'm not saying that they're not calling you mom or sir. If you're a Filipino, but like I've noticed that most of the time, if you're just a Filipino, they don't really say anything. They won't address you anything. But I gotta say, like with the guards, with the maintenance staff, with everybody, like say at our office building where we are, I go out of my way to be friendly to everybody. So I don't know that you do that. What do you think? I think I'm more of a like talkative, friendly person than you. Is that true or false? I think so. I'm not really friendly. I don't talk to strangers. Like I rather be like I. I prefer everyone not to talk to me <laughs> unless it's really, really urgent. So I prefer to be just here. Yes. And I get annoyed when people just randomly. Yeah, I, so I I think part of it maybe is like you get back what you give. So I'm like a little over friendly. What sometimes is misinterpreted here in the Philippines, maybe you know people are thinking uh, flirting. I'm flirting or who who knows uh, over here. Yes, I think you know for me this is just how I am. This is how my grandpa was, my dad was, my sister is. We're just kind of friendly people. So how much of it, if you're really really transparent? How much of it do you think is just like you're getting back? You're more reserved. You're a bit more introverted, shy. So, how much of it do you think is that? And how much do you think it's just Filipinos aren't as friendly to each other? Uh, maybe fifty, fifty. <laughs> All right. So maybe just <laughs> wait that the sum of Mitch's response is just gamay, just a little. Yeah. Uh, in comparison to that. But definitely, I got to say, not just Mitch. I really do hear often that Filipinos feel that foreigners are treated better than Filipinos. So definitely, that's true. All right. Now, what do I think are the pros of being a Filipino citizen over here? You could tell me what you think. For me, one is I think people are just going to be more honest about the price of stuff. So when I go out shopping, I feel like people are going to say. Here's the most expensive pillow, or here's the most expensive towels, or here's the most expensive whatever, or even if I go to a fruit stand or something like that where the prices aren't posted, they're gonna say this is 300 pesos a kilo, but for you they're gonna probably say this is 100 pesos a, a kilo. So, so as an example, on our way back to the office, there was a guy you know knocked on the window of There's the cab that. and he's selling ciguelas. Yeah. And he said 350 pesos a kilo, right? Now, how much do you think? Because he saw my fat foreigner face in there. But say that you were in there with a Filipino, what do you think the price would have been? I'm not sure about the price of the fruit, but I think it's a little bit lower, like maybe at 200 or 150 for it. That's a little lower. So from 350 to like 200 or 150. I'm not sure how much. How much is a no? I don't know. So those are a little bit of a rarer fruit that I don't hear of all the time. But I'll give one other example. So 
There was another time that I was like driving the car and there was a Filipina in the passenger seat. We kind of like pulled up to a fruit stand. I think I've told this story on the channel before. And at first she just said, hey, Kuya, how much for a kilo of mangoes? And they said like 170 pesos a kilo. I forget the exact amount, but say 170 pesos a kilo. And then when the guy came back to the door, he saw me and she said, okay, how much is the total? He said like 340 pesos. Like it was like literally double the amount per kilo. So I think for me, that's the pro of being a Filipino citizen is people aren't going to really be SU on the actual price. I deal with that all the time. I think you probably don't have to deal with that as much. What do you think? Yeah, I, I think you're right about us getting the lower prices of everything. And also mm -hmm. part of it is because we know how to bargain stuff. Filipinos love to bargain stuff. Say if mm -hmm. it's on, if if the price is 70 pesos, we usually bargain it for like, can we have it for 60 pesos? Sure. We're good at that. Sure. Maybe I should just try that. Bargain Maybe I should. That. So I feel like in the US, I'm a good negotiator. And in the Philippines, I feel like if I try to negotiate something, I've already lost the negotiation just because I show my foreigner face. Yeah. Whereas for me, if I want to negotiate something, I'm going to send a Filipino there to negotiate the price, get that price in writing, and then I get to show myself. And I'm always interested. Like there's comments in the blog sometimes where people would be like, Dude, if you're complaining about, you know, getting charged more then like, you know, get over it. You know, it's okay if people charge you twice as much or whatever. Move but, to another country. Yeah, move to another country. But uh, actually, it's mostly foreigners that are saying that on that. And for me, I feel like if people charge me a little bit more, okay, fine. But this is my home. Yeah. I live here all the time. So it's not so much about the money it's like i just feel kind of like used and taken advantage of that's hard to take years and years and years of that that's the bigger problem than just paying a bit extra for for stuff mm -hmm. so big pro people are just more transparent with you i think as a filipino yeah maybe okay another big pro i feel for you as a filipino is that you don't have this label of like foreigner like hanging over your head even the word foreigner to me is already kind of like, not divisive, but I think it's like excluding mm. me to some extent. Like I'm always other. I'm always different. I'm always literally a foreign for Filipinos. And so practically, I think that means it's just hard to build deep friendships here, deep relationships here, because everybody's just really thinking of me as foreign, not us. I'm never us. I'm never we. I'm never included like as just like part of the like gang. Yeah. I'm just foreigner. And of course, I've made great friendships over here with, uh, you know, locals. However, I think the perception of me that I always have to like kind of fight against is just like foreign. With you, you don't really have to deal with that. You're just one of us. I think the one that you mentioned, you, you mentioned how you feel like you're never an us or a we because they're excluded. It's just so sad to say. But like, <laughs> Do I sound like a whiner or what? Yeah, you, you sound like a baby. Yeah, like, I do I'm often. Not, I'm not included. Mitch knows me well. <laughs> yeah. But it's... I, but do you think it's true or not? Yeah. Maybe. Kind of. Yeah. So how do you think that would feel if you went to another country and you're just always kind of like, eh? Yeah, maybe I would, Mitch. I would feel the same way. But I think it's also an advantage for you for being different from us. It's because being different means you get different treatment from us. So this is what I mean. L let's talk about relationships or friendships or any kind of relationship over here. Yeah. I think, yes, we're treated different, but that also has its own pros and cons. Mm -hmm. So even if I meet somebody, I don't necessarily know their motives right away. I don't know, you know, are they really into me because I'm so good looking? Just kidding. Or are they just into me because they think that I maybe have more money or different things like that? So I don't know. I, I think there's pros and cons. 
I, you know, I don't want to be unfair to the millions of very sincere, respectful, you know, blah, 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 uh, Filipinos where there is no kind of ill intent or, you know, bad motivations, but it happens enough here where I always have to question it. Mm. So is it an advantage? Is it pro or is it a con? Um, maybe half, half. Still half, half. All right. I'm, 50, curious, what, 50. I'm curious what you guys think. <laughs> Mitch is hedging our bets. 50-50. You know, for me, it's really a con overall. You know? Yeah, maybe. I guess here in the Philippines, if you're a foreigner, we have this, like, stereotype or discrimination or whatever you call it. Like, we have this mindset where we think that foreigner, if you're a foreigner, you'll be like, you have odd dollar sign in your face. Yeah. So maybe that's why. Yeah. For sure. All right. So for me, kind of related to this, one other big con if you're a foreigner is that people will start speaking, you know, Basaya if you're in the Basaya's areas or Tagalog. Yeah. And you don't really know what they're talking about you. Every once in a while, I'll hear a word and I'll be like, mm, I think I know what they're saying there. But I think that's a big other thing with communication here is you don't really know what's going on behind the scenes if you're a foreigner. Yeah, but most Filipinos also feel the same way. Like if we're surrounded by, by a lot of Americans or like mm -hmm. foreigners and they're talking, we're not really surrounded. But if we're like sitting in a table with foreigners and then they're talking with each other, we also feel the same way. They're saying, what are they talking about? Because there are slangs that we really don't understand, especially if the slangs are used contextually. So yeah. we're like, huh? Sure. Like, All right, so, fair enough. Yeah, we're fair. We're both experiencing the same things. You think you only experience that? <laughs> All right, 50-50 on that one. Well, guys, there's probably a million more things that we could talk about, but want to hear from you in the comments below. What do you think are the pros or the cons of being a Filipino or a foreigner in the Philippines? Mitch, thanks again for talking with me. My pleasure. Guys, if you haven't subscribed already, would love your support. Click that subscribe button. And thanks for taking the time to watch. Take care.